so this is the other guy coming to you tonight so listen I just bought a um, a tool for my truck and uh, this is called a high lift jack made by high lift and I'll show you this is my harbor freight tool high lift jack yeah it gave up its ghost it's very rusty it's my fault I exposed it to the environment and so it's become very rusty and it's not reliable so um, I'm replacing it with a new high lift jack made by high lift and I'll show you how it looks like okay so the intention in this video is to compare this with the uh, Harbor Freight uh, high lift jack and so that's what I'm doing I just received this item and I want to show you how it looks like pretty stoked again if you look at here it says high lift that's the brand and somebody wrote AK 74 <laughs> and they wrote assault weapon I don't know why when I received it it was written like that so Oh, somebody's playing a joke on me, but that's okay. <sighs> Jokes on them is that I got the real deal. Here it is, my assault weapon. Ooh, this thing's heavy duty. Okay, so anything else in here? Nope, empty box. So I got this from eBay for about a hundred bucks. And I'll show you here. It comes with top winch connector clamp, which oh, which my Harbor Freight doesn't come with it. Powder coated finish, safe use information is attached here. And what this thing here is for, so what this thing is for is it could be used according to the uh, commercial, is that it could use as a jaw of life or a, a winching system. You attach the hook right here or a tow rope or recovery rope right here and you could winch on both sides and I'll show you okay you could put it right here and I like the fact that this thing curves up oh that's pretty cool so it doesn't slip okay so this is the Harbor Freight As you can see it's, it's a very very simple machinery the 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 thing right here doesn't hook up this thing hooks up you can see here okay and this thing is solid the, the foot here is very solid whereas this piece is junk okay so this thing looks really nice it's really solidly built okay so um, let me try to let me cut this off Be right back okay so cutting this thing off and it comes with uh, directions, instructions, right here. It comes with a sticker. I guess it makes you extra, extra extreme if you put this thing on your truck. Okay, so I can tell you this thing is really heavy. There you go. So. Uh, right off the bat okay so this piece right here where the uh, jack where this thing climbs up I don't know the names of these things so uh, where this pedestal right here climbs up looks pretty nice it's uh, this looks like uh, it's nicer built than this piece right here okay but I'll, I'll tell you this thing looks very very solid okay and the climbing pins here are nicely done too. Okay. All right. Let's compare climbing pins with each other. Okay. So uh, this one, I know that this is old. Okay. And I know that this is not old. So.
Okay, this dowel here drops all the way down. This is still up. And I think I know why, because it's so rusty. Okay, there you go. It's not going in because of the rust. So anyway, I'm gonna try to see if I could uh, use this to jack up my truck. Okay, so here, here I am. This is my truck. So I'm gonna lift this up. Pull that lever up. Okay. So what I like about this is that this little piece right here is hook, it's it's hooking up. So it uh, adds supports to it, and it makes sure that it doesn't. It makes sure that it doesn't slip out. I'm sorry. Okay. So. There we go. Wow. This pedestal down here is really, really stable. Compared to the uh, Harbor Freight, it's really friendly. Uh, the Harbor Freight is very, very uh, flimsy. Uh, this thing is very solid. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not gonna lift my whole truck up, but this is just a demonstration here. So I really like this piece. The reason why I, li I like this one is because I've used the Harbor Freight before, and uh, the Harbor Freight doesn't feel solid like this one. The reason is because the foot, the pads, the pad here. This thing is solid. It doesn't move. Whereas the Harbor Freight, it's very flim flim flimsy, and it it's not really safe. So, um, for what the Harbor Freight is, uh, the cost, it's okay, but I would never use that one again since I've got this one. Now that I know a quality high lift jack looks like and feels like, I'm just gonna stick to this one. So, to make this one goes down, go down, this lever, push down, okay, and. That's that. Wow. That was a good experience. All right. So, now I'll let you know. You guys know anything about my car, my truck. If you've been following me, you'll know that I built this thing right here to hold my uh, my hitch, my uh, high lift jack. So let's see if uh, this high lift jack will fit this place. Okay, just like how my Harbor Freight fits it. So let's uh, begin. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to see if the holes in the Harbor Freight uh, high lift and the holes on my um, high, new high lift jack matches the bolts here. What I'm talking about is the bolt pattern, the whole pattern. So when I when I built this thing right here, I built it specifically for the Harbor Freight because I didn't know much about uh, high lift jack then, like I know now. This thing serves as a pur uh, there's a purpose for this thing right here, and the reason it, this thing is here is so that it can help you in in cases where you have to use it as a uh, the jaw the jaw of uh, life to pry somebody from a car. That's what they said. That's not what I say, but that's what they said. And also to serve as a uh, recovery tool.
Oh, I gotta show you this. See, one would think, see this thing right here? One would think that if you bolt this thing in, that it'll go like that, right? If you put uh, it, it under stress, but look at this. There are two rails here that matches the rail here. Indentation, I meant. That matches the rail here, so it doesn't do that. That's interesting. That's a nice feature. Okay, there you go. It's really nicely now. Okay. So, I made this just to hold the thing here. I made it for the high lift. Let's see if this is adaptable. Bada bing. Look at that. Holy cow. It works like a magic. Okay. fit the thing this thing fits this thing like it was made for it there you go okay so let me know what your thoughts are it's a pretty nice piece okay I'll show you the design okay this this here is just a bolt it's welded to the bottom here don't know if you can see that and then I uh, drilled the an eye into the bolt here yeah, and then this is a master lock you're gonna mock me that this is just a cheapo lock but you know what it's better than not having a lock same thing this this is just a regular, regular bolt uh, welded onto this piece right here and then I drilled a, a, a hole into the eye uh, to into the bolt here so it's solid okay uh, so this piece right here might not be so friendly to the hood I'm thinking that I'll probably not be able to open it because this thing will latch will catch the hood here as it goes this thing goes up so this right here is a keeper um, it keeps this thing from um, flying out this way and keeps people from uh, stealing it so yeah that's that guys awesome